This video training will walk through the process of creating a new MindTap course that is linked with your Blackboard course. Whether you are starting with a blank course or working with one you have developed over the years, the process for setting up the Cengage integration is the same. Let's start by navigating to a content page where we want to add our MindTap course level link. A content page may be named something other than content at your institution, but you will know that you are in the right place if you can see the Partner Content menu. Choose the drop-down, and then select Content Market. From the list of available partners, select Cengage. The first time you connect, you will be asked to link your Blackboard account with your Cengage faculty account. If you do not have a Cengage account, click Create New Account to request one. Your request must be verified, and then your account information will be sent to you by email. Enter your email address and password, and then click Log In you will receive a confirmation message that you have successfully registered your account. A list of available courses will appear. This list is based on courses that were made available to your institution. If you do not see your course listed, please contact your Cengage Learning Consultant. You can search by your digital solution or by author. Once you have located your title, click on it to begin the course creation process. You will next be prompted to create your MindTap course. This video will focus on the first three options, which will result in creating a new course. If you have already created a course in your Cengage Instructor dashboard, you will select Link to an existing course. This process is covered in a separate video. The first option is to create a new course. If you have never used MindTap before, this is likely the option you will choose. The second option is to copy from an existing course. This option is typically used when you are moving from one semester to the next and will display courses you have previously created using this Cengage product. The third option is to copy from another instructor's course using their course key. For this video, we will create a new course. Regardless of which option you choose, you will enter basic information about your course. We recommend including the name, term, and any section information. For the class start date, enter the date you expect students to start using MindTap. If your course requires students to purchase an access code, the date you enter here represents the first day of the temporary access period. The course end date is the last date that students can access the course. Finally, select your time zone, and then click continue. On the next page, you will choose whether you'd like to add a single gradebook column added to your LMS that will represent the total score for all the content assigned in MindTap. If you select, I want to synchronize an overall course score, you'll receive a notice with additional information. If your preference is to link and synchronize individual assignment scores, then select, I want to synchronize individual activity scores. Once you've made your selection, click Continue. You will next receive a message indicating that your link has been imported and then be redirected to Blackboard to select the location in which you want the link to appear. The default location will be the content page where you started this process, but you can browse for a new location if needed. Click Submit. Your MindTap course level link is now available in Blackboard and placed at the bottom of the content page. You can easily click and drag your link to the desired location. We also recommend editing the link to make it clear to students that this is where they will access and register for MindTap. To do this, click the drop-down next to the link, edit the name, and click Submit. Both you and your students will now use this link to access MindTap. Whether you're creating a new course from scratch or copying a course from the previous term, Guided Course Setup will save you time and help you start off right. You can skip this process by clicking Skip Guided Setup, but we highly recommend completing this. Guided Setup is a great tool for getting the initial MindTap setup steps out of the way. Click the Guided Setup button to begin. We estimate that this setup will take about a few minutes. Click Next. On Step 1, you'll be asked if your course is an online course, a face-to-face -face course, or a hybrid of the two. The next option will ask if you'd like your course to be displayed by topic or by date. This will set the default view of your course to be either the outline structure of the MindTap learning path 
or a rolling week view that shows your students what assignments are due that week. If you select an option here and later decide you'd like the other, this setting can be changed later as well. Once you have selected your answers, click Next. The next question will ask if you plan to use MindTap with a School Learning Management System, or LMS, such as Blackboard, Canvas, Brightspace by D2L, Moodle, or other LTI-compliant learning management system. If you select Yes, it will then ask which LMS you plan to use. Click Next. The final page of Guided Setup will ask how you'd like scored activities to impact the gradebook. Using system defaults will provide you with a mixture of practice and graded activities in line with how assignments were originally created. Counts Towards Grade will set all scored activities to be tracked in the course gradebook. Practice will set all scored activities to not be tracked in the gradebook. The Point Value field is an optional field that you can use to set the point value of all scored activities in your course. If left blank, all activities will have a default point value. If you'd like your activities to all have the same point value, set that value here. Finally, select whether you'd like all activities to be available to your students on the first day of class, or if you'd like them to become available at a specific later date. When you are finished, click Next. The last page is a confirmation that you've reached the end of the guided setup. If you'd like to go back and change something, you can use the back button. If you're finished, click Finish. MindTap will build your course around the settings you have selected during the guided setup. If you selected Yes at the LMS integration question, you'll be provided with a PDF document walking you through how to integrate your course with your learning management system. The course level link creation steps were already covered in this video, but this document contains additional information on deep linking content with your LMS and enabling grade synchronization with your LMS. Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.